Okay, so uh, we're looking here at um, uh, brackets, our code editor, and we've got a number of, uh, for example, here, a number of transform um, uh, values and properties that we want to apply to a given um, element. So in this case, it's P with the ID translate. So we look down here, and this is the this is the green uh, square down here. So if we look at the uh, <clears throat> how the browser is interpreting this, uh, what all that is happening here is we are getting the final uh, transform, which is the translate uh, taking effect. So the um, only this final one because this is cascading the prior uh, three um, uh, declarations. So in this case, if we meet, if we are looking to apply one than more than one transform to an element, uh, we simply uh, can add add them in a in a space separated list. So we say transform then in this case uh, scale. We want to double the element. We also want to rotate the element uh, 30 degrees. Oops, uh, add a space. We want to skew it. Uh, the element uh, minus 15 degrees. Uh, we also then want to finally translate the element uh, of 30 px uh, along the x-axis and 40 px down along the y-axis. So this will allow us um, uh, to apply multiple transform values um, and us uh, also to uh, also reduce the amount of code we're, we're adding to the um, uh, to the uh, CSS, so we can think about here, and then of course um, all of those are then applied. So that's great. Uh, well, so what I can do is I can uh, get rid of these, and you can see uh, much more concise uh, CSS. So uh, you know, as always, there's there's usually ways uh, like uh, CSS um, uh, shorthand and ways to combine. Um, different uh, values and properties to uh, make more uh, uh, lean and mean code. So there you go.